What's up, boys? It's Math, and um, thank you all for subscribing recently with all the guides and stuff that I made. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy them, so I decided that I should make some more videos on Battle Right. If you guys are enjoying them, I guess leave a another like and tell me if you want to see anything else. Um, I'm glad to take any ideas, but uh, today we're going to be talking about Destiny, the Sky Ranger, the new uh, hero they just announced. Um, we're just going to be analyzing her trailer and what exactly she can and can't do, and maybe some potential combos. And So yeah. Um, so we're just going to start it off with her M1, just a regular red ball that she shoots out, an average amount of range, an average amount of damage, probably around 15 it looks like, nothing crazy. Um, pretty much the most basic sort of thing out of her kit. Um, a lot of the other things have a lot more interaction, um, but nothing wrong with 15 damage M1s, always good. And next up, um, I'm going to be talking about her EX M1, which I think is the blue ball that she shoots. Um, there's a part in the trailer where she shoots a... A uh, blue ball towards her ally, or a blue, yeah, well, she shoots balls, and she shoots one of the blue ones at her ally. Um, she has these little green lines underneath both her health, bar, health bars, so I don't know if that means that it's like a state that she enters and she can start shooting them, or if it's like, kind of like Jumong um, M1s, where you, or EX M1s, where you shoot them once for one bar and you can shield them. I don't know exactly what it is, um, but it seems like her EX M1 is going to be the blue balls that shields her allies. And the cool part is if you hit an ally with it, it also shields yourself. So you're getting double the shield value for one EX. And so, I mean, that seems pretty good. Um, next is her M2. It's like an Esmo charged attack. Um, the same sort of thing, only she can move during it. So um, she can move, she can charge it, and it only does damage. It doesn't actually pull or anything, but it can be comboed with one of her other abilities, which is the big orb, which I'll talk about later. But um, I looked at one part of the video that I'll show, and with a long cast time, it looks like it does around 25 damage, which isn't too bad, but it is mainly used for the combo with her um, other large ball ability. And so the next ability will be Space. Space um, turns her into a ball form that increases her move speed. She kind of runs around. Um, and if you hit someone with it, it, it seems like you can only hit one target because as soon as you hit them, you get knocked back, or they get knocked back, and you stand still. And um, so you can't go around knocking enemies back all over. You have to use it on one enemy or just to get away, um, which also kind of uh, worries me because then there's no true sort of escape. If somebody's surrounding you and you press space, then you are forced to hit them, which I guess is a knockback, so I guess that'll be okay. But still, you can't get out of like a high pressure si situation. If there's multiple enemies on you, it's gonna be a little tough. So I guess that's good that she has shields. Um, and the next will be your Q, which for every other character that has a counter or their character, their counter is on Q, um, so her counter, um, if they hit it, she jumps into the air, she takes a second, and then she shoots down a small AoE, and the AoE will do a knockback, I don't know if it does damage, um, but it definitely knocks back, um, and then she flies backwards immediately and lands on the ground, and doesn't go that far backwards, by the way, so it's honestly, I mean, it's good to keep somebody away from you, but it, it won't be keeping Shifus off you without spears, but by any means. Um, it's not something that you can reposition with, like a Varesh counter or something. Um, so it seems pretty good, uh, comboed with her other abilities, but it's just that um, she's got to definitely be a little bit more tanky since her counter and her space aren't completely giant gap uh, creators. Um, and then next up is her E. Um, I'm pretty sure her E is the Ashka wall that she makes, um, only her Ashka wall doesn't eat the projectiles like Ashka's. They stop them like still like pearls bubbles so what i think is going to happen it doesn't show it in the video but it'll be the wall and it'll eat them or uh not eat them but uh make the projectiles sit in there like pearl bubbles and then after that they run out it'll probably just continue on and so it'll be a lot like a pearl bubble where you need to watch out for what's going to happen after and where you're positioned and then next up is the exe um it's a pillar that catches enemies in it um this is what she had in blc a lot of these are what she had in blc but this one specifically is like core to her kit from blc um it's a pillar that comes out of the ground it has a small aoe and any enemies in it get caught and chained to it and if they walk outside it they get stunned um but something that's really interesting about her kit is most of her abilities have knockback so what you can do is you can combo a lot of her abilities with that chain and you can actually just get free stuns um, off of the chain. And uh, it's just the great synergy that comes with her kit. I'm really excited to play that. Um, next up is the R, which is the big damage dealer that she has. Is going to be the big ball that she uh, uh, shoots out. And it has another bigger AoE around it. And I think that probably pulls in because there is a part that I'll show you where the um, 
extra things on the map like the jars and stuff are getting swung around it and i think it has a, some sort of like you know gravity field and so i think it'll be kind of like, like that little whirlwind that you leave after ty's um tornado or wind bomb it'll be something like that where it slightly pulls you in um there's a scene in there as well where um it does around 40 damage i think to like the orb so if you can hit it with your right click um which again that's something i didn't mention if you shoot your right click at it it'll activate it early it'll detonate it early and it'll it'll do the damage obviously um it looked like it did around 40 damage to the orb and then not only that but it also knocks enemies back so it'll also combo with your uh, pillar but finally your ult which you can tell completely by the uh trailer that it's just her turning into like a pinball and just bouncing around off everything it doesn't seem that consistent honestly you probably won't be wanting to use that that much depending on how much damage it does or what map you're on you know like if you're an ormond or something you might be able to actually get some good ricochets and go nuts on somebody between two walls just like just fucking destroy their ass but um yeah so that's what i believe her kit is um i could be wrong if you guys want to say anything in the comments see, uh, say what you think each ability is on or you know m1 m2 space what the, you think the exes are um if i got them wrong if it was backwards like the exe is actually the regular e um i'd like to see what your opinions are but for now um thanks for watching